Last week, Brazilian model Tails Suarez died after he collapsed on a catwalk at a Fashion Week event. Of course, the first thing people want to do is jump the gun and talk about drugs in the modeling industry. But a quote from his modeling agency claimed, Tails never presented or complained about health problems. He had a healthy diet, did not use illegal substances, and was in full condition to participate in the parade. And we ask for respect at this moment of deep sadness. Tails Suarez was known for following a vegetarian diet. Uh, this is where everyone's concept of him being healthy stems from. And there was a rumor that vegetarian food was not available at the event, so Suarez had not eaten for a long time. But his mother and sister actually spoke to him before the event, and he was munching on a carrot. Although I don't consider a carrot an adequate form of caloric or micronutrient nutrition, uh, his mother and sister then went on to say that Tails has always followed a healthy diet and exercised regularly. From a logical standpoint, not eating for a couple hours isn't going to cause you to drop dead on the spot. Uh, but due to the way he fell and that he was foaming at the mouth, there was speculation that he suffered from an epileptic fit. But Tails had regular health checkups and no history of epileptic fits or fasting spells. Now, seizures are actually a common side effect of a vitamin B deficiency especially people with the MTHFR gene mutation. Uh, this enzyme, NTHFR, allows vitamin B9 to be used properly by the body. It's also important for converting homocysteine into methionine, as well as playing a role in the methylation of vitamin B12. So a lack of vitamin B on a vegetarian or a vegan diet can manifest itself in several different ways in a negative light. And this gene mutation actually occurs in up to 40% of the population. Uh, this isn't something rare. This article explains, Individuals with low activity of the MTHFR enzyme may present with elevated homocysteine levels, which have been associated with inflammation and heart disease, birth defects, difficult pregnancies, and potentially an impaired ability to detoxify. Symptoms of B12 deficiency also include pale or jaundiced skin, uh, which he appeared to have, weakness and fatigue, changes to mobility, evident by what happened on the runway, breathlessness and dizziness, uh, mood changes. We see this a lot in vegans. Uh, they always complain they are out of breath, uh, they have a pale complexion, and appear to have massive mood swings uh, contributing to their unreasonable train of thought. Any of you who watched my video several weeks back titled, A Vegan Diet Will Give You a Stroke, might remember me explaining this mechanism of how high homocysteine levels in the blood lead to extreme oxidative stress in the bloodstream, ultimately resulting in a stroke or heart attack. Unfortunately, there isn't a lot of data on this. We don't know how long this takes to manifest in people with this gene mutation. Uh, the reason there haven't been studies done is because it would be unethical. But is this extreme speculation? I don't really think so. A lot of the symptoms line up, but the real reason for this is likely a combination of caloric restriction in addition to extreme vitamin deficiencies that only really take a few months to happen on a vegan diet. And you don't hear vegans going around yelling, oh my God, go vegan for the animals, but make sure to take your B12. They don't, they don't say that. They, they just say the first part. They don't mention that you have to take vitamin B12 or you're not going to be able to string together more than a three word sentence without forgetting what you're going to say. And it doesn't end here. Back in March, there was a similar story. Uh, Felicity Thompson, who was a very popular Instagram influencer, died of a heart attack at 18 years old. And there wasn't really much concrete evidence on what type of diet she was following, so I didn't discuss it at the time. And the story of this young lady is just as tragic. Uh, she allegedly became an exercise and diet-obsessed introvert after her mother died of leukemia. If we take a look at her Instagram, 
It doesn't appear that she was too skinny or malnourished at the time of her passing away, although she does look pale with under eye bags. We know Tails Suarez was following a vegetarian diet, and if we speculate the same here, it could explain her appearance reminiscent of these vitamin deficiencies, which she didn't have before her mother's death, the point where she started a healthy diet and exercise routine. Overall, these young people dying is an extreme example of modern conventional wisdom, what we've been led to believe in modern culture, especially in the context of diet and health. Almost every modern issue or disease is blamed on genetics or abnormalities. A bit interesting to me that there's not much evidence in ancient texts of teenagers dying from heart attacks. This modern wisdom can literally kill people in front of their loved ones and then brush it off as genetics. It's unfortunate what our society has built and how easily people are brainwashed into it. Another issue I mentioned when discussing why a vegan diet will give you a stroke is because of the presence of plant fats composing your lipids and cholesterol molecules, resulting in plant fats essentially clogging your arteries. But this is something that typically takes dozens of years to manifest, and it's only seen in young people with much rarer gene mutations than MTHFR. Uh, there are young people that have died from heart disease, from plant fats clogging their arteries, but that is literally like one of the rarest disease genetic mutations that there is today. I think this is something that we will see happen more and more if the popularity of the vegan diet continues. The MTHFR gene mutation occurs at a fairly high percentage of the population, as we mentioned earlier, approximately 40%. This explains very well why about half the people who go vegan crumble apart in a matter of months and the other half lasts a little bit longer, still crumbling apart in the long run. Seventh Day Adventist plant-based dieters actually had triple the stroke rate that is considered normal, whilst mortality rates of heart disease were relatively similar. There is zero evidence showing a plant-based diet significantly reduces overall mortality risk when other lifestyle factors are considered. How can vegans have no issue with ruining their health and literally killing fellow human beings, yet when they see a cute little piggy oink oink with big eyes, they actually care about something? They don't care about the slaves picking their fruits and vegetables or the trillions of insects, the herbicides and pesticides sprayed, the fact that they're literally ruining the soil and conventional agriculture is destroying our planet. They don't care about that. The vegan agenda is a completely misguided effort that is able to convince people they are promoting a good cause. The vegan diet is not healthy is not better for the environment, and it is not ethically or morally superior. So what is it? Where are you going to be in 10, 15, 20, 25 years from now when all of these vegan dieters are going to literally be viewed as cultists? Are you just going to say, oh, I got sucked into it? There are very few vegans who own up to the cult they've been in, and we're starting to see more people come out and be truthful about it, as opposed to being, oh, the vegan diet was great, I only lost my uterus and had four miscarriages. Like, like that's, that's literally what happens. They still glorify the vegan diet, despite it literally ruining their lives. Uh, so, that being said, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Uh, if you guys would like to support the channel, uh, just check out some of the videos that I'm going to link at the end here. I will link some of the ones that I mentioned throughout this video. Guys, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button. Share the video if you can. Recently, we launched Frankie's Free Range Meat. My goal being to provide everyone with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods. So if you guys would like to order high quality, grass fed, fatty beef, we're selling organ meats, we're selling salmon roe, great source of EPA and DHA. We have some of the tastiest, highest quality raw cheeses on the planet. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We have a bunch of discount codes available as well. Thanks again for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of the weekend.